All right, Shalom, first and foremost, all praises and glories unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Hachachodash, that belong to our apostles and the elders, bishops of the great millstone who teach God and rule well. And greetings, salutations, blessings, and much love unto you, hopefully, elect out there. Shalom unto you. We brush a quiet with another video here. And uh, as, I, as I like to do, I always try to tap into some of these, um, the mind state of a lot of situations of the things that we go through. You know, it's hard um, for some of us. That's something I struggled with early coming, in, you know, coming into this truth was uh, being a beloved uh, member of my family. People look to me, they enjoyed your company. You would do, but now they don't feel the same way or, or you don't feel the same way because they don't want to hear you in this truth or whatever the case may be. Well, this is part of the, the situation that we have to mature past. And it's funny how my time in this truth, being amongst this family and, 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 and just seeing different situations, things turn out the way that they turn out. You find reasons to not be uh, so close with, with friends and family. It just comes out that way. And then their belief is one way and your belief is in another way. Your faith is on a different level, you know, than, than theirs. And it's okay. Faith is not given to all men, nor is the amount of faith given to all men. Okay. That's just the way it has to go. But so, um, read through Job, and uh, this particular verse stood out to me um, in this. You know, this is when Job was really going through some hell. He was just beginning to go through it. Um, so, to speak, well, he was going through it. You know, everybody just seemed like back to back with just, just issues just coming down. That's how this truth will happen to you, man. Your woman will leave you. You'll get in trouble at your job or you're on pins that they're at the edge of firing you. You know, your, your friends and family or your kids or whatever had their issues, whatever the situations are, you, you know, your, your car breakdown, all these things will happen all at once. You know, some of the things even now, the few years that I've been in this truth, even in years now, a, um, things still happen. You're like, damn, but you, you learn to take it as just part of what comes with this thing. So the point that I, um, I want to make is right here in Job chapter 2. I'm going to start at verse 11. You know, this is after this woman uh, sees this condition and, and, and don't really want to rock with him like that, right? It starts telling why, why you believe in your God like that, so on and so forth. But verse 11 says, Now when Job's three friends heard of all this evil that was come upon him, and your friends and family will see you going through shit, and they won't understand why, and you really truly can't explain why. And that's the hard part for them to understand. Well, if you're getting all these problems, maybe it's what you believe in that's the problem. God has punished you because you're in the wrong thing, but you can show them scripture all day and they're never going to see it another way. Okay, as we know, and um, I'm not going to get it in Hebrews, the uh, 12th chapter, it tells you, despise not the chastening of the Lord. Okay, I got other scriptures uh, lined up for that. And I, didn't, I didn't really have that one, but just to, just to, you know, to throw that out there. You know, it says, despise not the chastening of the Lord. Okay, this he, he dealing with you as, as with sons. Okay, he's correcting us, man, because we got some some bastardly ways that we're trying to get out of, man. We got some 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 ways that the heavenly father's trying to correct in us so he can deal with us with son as sons. Hey, some of your friends are going through shit and they don't understand. And they don't ever want to look to the Heavenly Father. Hey, that's on them. Some family members as well. And some of them is just on easy street living a good life. And when this place collapses, it's gonna hurt. And they're they going to be lost in the sauce. And then that's when you're going to see who the Lord, has, who's of the elect and who's been chosen, who can deal with this and who can't. Okay. And, and and some of them that may be built to deal with this, let's see how their mental state will be. Because it's not just, oh, he's strong and he's athletic. He can do this and that. Your mental state has to be super strong and your faith got to be on 10, man. And you got to know the process to go through. You go, hey, let me call on you. How about you? I'll shy for this, man. Let me. Let me get these prayers out there. Let me let me fast. Let me do these things, man. Let's 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 try this instead. You know, versus the world is gonna go with whatever the flesh and comforts to try to get out of issues. All right. So it says now when Job's three friends heard all this evil that was come upon him, they came every one to his own place. <clears throat> Eliphaz the Temanite and Bildad the Shu Shuite and Zophar the Nahamathite, for they had made an appointment together to come to mourn with him and to comfort him. So they were coming up to visit him, as good friends will do. 
right? It says, and when they lifted up their eyes afar off and knew him not, they lifted up their voice and wept. They rent every one his mantle and sprinkled dust upon their heads toward heaven. So they sat down with, with him upon the, the ground seven days and seven nights, and none spake a word unto him, for they saw that his grief was very great. Okay, so they saw the things he was going through, but they couldn't comprehend it. So they just tried to comfort him a bit, but they didn't understand the purpose of it. Okay, but we we now understand the purpose of it. Okay, I'll start up. Um, Ecclesiastes chapter 2, verse 1, it says, My son, thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation, set thy heart aright, and constantly endure, and make not haste in time of trouble. Cleave unto him and depart not away, that thou mayest be increased at thy last end. Whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully. Okay? Well, what do you mean take that cheerfully? He's going to say in the next, uh, really the next scripture I bring. And be patient when thou art changed to a lower state. As I'll grab it, it says in 1 Peter, the fourth chapter, that, that, thou, that thou will be a partaker of, of, of the Lord's sufferings, of Yahweh Shai's sufferings. Okay? It says... Verse 5, for gold is tried in the fire and acceptable men in the furnace of adversity. You're accepted of the Lord when you're able to go through things, man. All these temporal things that are going on in the earth, man, is, is, you know, a lot of people always want to get out of it. But, hey, the truth is you're supposed to deal with it and learn from it and grow from it and become hardened to, 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 to you know, these things that are most heavy. It says, uh, 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 let me grab it. It's in uh, second address real quick. I can't think of how to break it down. It's like 31, something like that. No, no, no. Where is it at? It might be higher up. Or 14th chapter, is it? Ah, it might be the 14th chapter. Set aside the things that are most heavy onto thee. Let me see. I might have it in here. Yeah, 14, 14. Second letter, 14, 14. Let go from the mortal thoughts, things of mortality, things of the flesh, Cast away the burden, away the burdens of man. Put off now the weak nature. Yeah, all the things that the Lord has got us building ourselves up to, all the things that people in this life actually uh, usually care for, are the things that we that He's got us uh, pulling away from. Relationships with anybody but Himself can't be at the foremost, man. They got to be uh, uh, underneath Him. Okay, you got to prefer these other situations. Less than you prefer the time of the Lord. Okay, so set aside the thoughts that are most heavy unto thee and haste thee to flee from these times. You know, and you want to get out of it, but hey, the times are coming. For greater evils than those shall, which thou hast seen happen shall be done hereafter. Way worse things are going to be coming than anything you've ever seen or heard of in life ever before. Okay? So this is important for us to have the proper mind state on these things. All right. Now let's go back. Oops. <clears throat> We're going to Peter. First Peter chapter four. Just missed that. It says, Beloved, think it not strange concerning the fiery trial that is to try you as though some strange thing happened to you. It's not a strange thing that's happening all of a sudden because you believe in this. this no. Yeah, it, it is that, but but it is these things happening because of this, but it's for a good reason. Not just because I want to go through shit, but it's because the Lord wants me to persevere through these things. To prove that I'm going to stick with him through thick and thin. To give me occasion to call upon him in my weaknesses. Okay? Okay? To get, to, 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 to have reason to need him. Because Jake, when Jake don't need him, until things go bad, Jake don't call on, on, on God, so to speak. When things is going great, Jake just be like all in their pride and all in their self. Yeah, look what I done done. But when they need, oh, God, help me. We're going to watch people do that, man. And we're going to watch even people that know the name. we call on Yahweh Bashim al Shine. He's not going to answer and help. Okay? Some things are just meant for us to go through. And some things he will always step in and help us with, man. Okay? But you got to be able to, 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 to be resolved into dealing with each of them. Knowing that he's at the forefront of these things. All right, it says, but rejoice, and this was the part I would say, take cheerfully, it said, but rejoice in as much as ye are partakers in Yahweh Shai Mashiach's sufferings. 
as he got as he got whipped and beaten and went through all types of sufferings of dealing with people and so on, so we're, we're going through it also. Another version of it, okay, particular to us, okay, that when his glory shall be revealed, ye may be glad also with exceeding joy. If ye be reproached for the name of Hamashiach, when people realize, oh, it's that thing, because you a Hebrew Israelite, oh, because you believe and you from this and that, and the, yeah, it's a happy are ye for the spirit of glory and of the most high resteth upon you on their part is evil he is evil spoken of but on your part he is glorified and in the end is when that glory is really going to show man when the regular people that's been going have an easy street in their life when they when 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 when, when their time comes and, and 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 there's no there's no solutions to what their problems are there's be solutions for ours okay and that's when you're going to see, dang, man, it, what is it? Yeah, man, we're being glorified through through the tribulation we went through. And now that he's here, this is what we've been practicing. This is what we've been praying for. This is what we've been hoping for. This is what we've been prophesying about. Our day has come. And the joy that we'll have in there, man, that, you know, to be able to, 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 to rejoice in that moment, man, will be, man, unforgettable, man, by anyone in the earth. According to the perils that will be going on, man, it's going to be the most glorious day ever. All right, it goes on. Well, this was always good to read this one. 17. No, I'll read 18. And if the righteous scarcely be saved, where should the ungodly and the sinner appear? That's something to remember, man. The righteous are scarcely saved. What about everybody else, man? They're going to get jacked up, man. Let's keep pulling these up. I'm just going to order that I jotted them down. Yep, it says you right here. Uh, Matthew 19, 29, and everyone that hath forsaken houses or brethren or sisters or father or mother or wife or children or lands for my name's sake shall re receive in hundredfold and shall inherit everlasting life. What is better to rejoice over, man? All those carnal things that you wanted, you gave them up in this life that you'll give them in life, that you'll gain them in life eternal. I, I, if it was left up to me and I just me thinking as a mortal man at this point in my life, trying to be spiritual also, I wouldn't pray for a million dollars. I wouldn't pray for millions of a billion dollars or nothing like that. I don't, I don't want that. What I would like, just thinking carnally, right? I want to be healthy. Let me be healthy and live a long life. That would give me all the, the, the things I needed from the moment now. To, to, to gain what I need out of this world going forward. Well, guess what? When you gain all of these things, because you gave them up all, all in this life, in that life eternal, you get that. You get the better body, the fresh, strong body that can't be destroyed. And nothing can touch. I'm under the weather now. Sickness won't even touch in the kingdom of heaven, uh, uh, Israel. Okay, so you, you, you gain that. You gain possessions in the earth which are the, 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 what real money is about. You gain all the family money and you gain the free time to enjoy them. You get everything you need. You'll have food. You won't have to worry about any of that. You'll have people that work for you to keep your, your, your household and your business or whatever it is rolling and running. You won't have, man, it's the life that you always wanted, but you'll be in a proper understanding to, 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 to deserve it and, 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 to, and to utilize it and, and truly appreciate it. All right. <clears throat> this is what we're doing this for. OK, so when, when they don't understand that, this is what they need to be uh, understanding. Now, for those that come and they want to, because if you finish reading in Job, they were talking a lot of SHIT like, man, you're going to deal with all of this. Right. It says uh, Matthew 10, if and if the house be worthy, let your peace. This is Matthew 10, 13. If, and if the house be worthy, let your peace come upon it. If they come and they really want to chill, they want to be in, in you know, you know, to, to 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 dwell around you, hey, gravy. But if it be not worthy, if it's just being on some nigga shit, let your peace return to you. Hey, hold your peace, man, and bounce. Okay? Don't even dwell with, with, around people like that. Don't even be around people like that if you can help it, man. You know? If you like some of my homeboys want to chill, that's cool. We can chill. If if, if you be worthy to, to, to deal with me. But if if you if 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 it's another set of people, hey, I'm not coming. I'm not, I got family. I won't even come around, and I grew up super tight with. 
I don't even want to deal with y'all. None of y'all. Y'all ain't coming to me in the right mind state. Y'all don't care about me like you cared when I was once a nigga like y'all were. Now that I've changed and become better, now you don't want to deal. Hey, better for me. All right? And this is the things you got you to gotta deal with. Okay? Genesis 19. Oh, yeah. Because this was, this was a good one. Uh, because what happened? You sit up there and you try to save everybody. You come to the truth. You're trying to save everybody. You want to, but what if, what if, what if? Hey, man, forget about that. All right, Genesis 19, 19. Behold, now thy servant have found grace in thy sight. You have found grace. Worry about yourself right now. And if thou hast magnified thy mercy, which thou hast shown unto me in saving my life, I cannot escape, I cannot escape the mountain lest some evil take me. And I die, right? Behold, now the city is near to flee unto, and it is a little one. Oh, let me escape thither. It's, this is talking about Lot, okay? And I brought this up because Lot kept trying to, but, but wait if, but what if, but what if all these people, if I could, let me find that, bear with me. All right, so here we go. This is a previous chapter 18. Let me see here. Yeah, 24, let me see. Talk to Abraham. Okay, starting verse 20. And the Lord said, because the cry of Sodom and Gomorrah is great, and because their sin is very... Let me get that right quick. I'm going to highlight that right quick. Uh, because the cry of Sodom is great, and because of their sin is very grievous, and there's no difference than America, man. All the people you know that you're close with in America are tainted, by the evils and the peril, uh, peril and the sins of, of America. Okay, transgressions of America, man. This place has, has polluted our people. Okay, and, and Micah in the second chapter tells you, depart from this place because it's polluted. It will surely destroy you with a, even with a great destruction. Okay, and it's not talking about physically because they say you can take a nigga out the hood, but you can't take the hood out the nigga. This truth does that. It takes the, the nigga out the hood out the nigga. Even if you live in the hood still. Lot was that. Lot was the, the hood out the nigga. He was the righteous one amongst all the niggas around, man. He took, he had a different mentality amongst all the other people. Same as um, Enoch. And then, you know, there's, there's different people in, in, in the scriptures that that was the case. Okay? Even though all this evil and shit was going on, they, had a, they kept a righteous mind about it. All right. You even look at the at Job. He kept a righteous mind about the hell he was catching, though the other people were willing to just be like, "Man, get the fuck later, man. This is your God doing this, man. Whatever." Get him cursing. His wife even said cursing, right? And and, and die, right? But Job endured all of that, and he and he came out better on the other side. As we and our hope and faith are to come out better on the other side. Anyway, it says. I will go down and see whether they have come done altogether according to the cry of it, which is come unto me. And if not, I will know. And the men turned their faces from thence and went toward Sodom. But Abraham stood yet before the Lord and Abraham drew near and said, will thou destroy the righteous with the wicked? Peradventure, if there, if there be 50, there be 50 righteous within the city. Will thou also destroy not spare the place for the 50 righteous that are with therein. Okay. And so when you look at this situation, man, he's hoping, oh, there's got to be some good people around. And when you really get down to the end of this thing. Yeah, let me go for it. Yeah. <laughs> 32. And he said, oh, let the Lord be angry and I will speak yet this once. Peradventure 10 shall be found there. And he said, well, I will not destroy it for the ten's sake. He got down to ten because he couldn't find him. And the Lord went his way. And soon as he had left communion with Abraham, Abraham turned to his place. And that's where you pick up with, with, uh, with Lot in the 19th chapter. He went down there and, and there were not, man. So Lot got snatched up out the city to, to be in short of it, okay? To be in short of it. So you try to save everybody, man. Everybody ain't meant to be saved. You need to be concerned about yourself, about the servant that you've been called to be, about the opportunity that you have to seek to, 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 to be in salvation. 
Okay? That's what you need to be concerned about. Everybody, it said, let every man be persuaded in his own mind. Hey, if they're meant to be of the elect, they will be. Plant the seed and, let, and leave it alone. Let it water itself and let it grow. The Lord will water it if it needs to be. Okay? They know what you went to. Once, once, they, once they ain't with it, hey, let, leave them alone. That don't mean you curse them to death. But, hey, leave them alone. The, the course of nature and time is going is to take, take care of itself. Okay? Now, let's go to John 15. It says, ye have not chosen me, John 15, verse 16, ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you and ordained you that ye should go and bring forth fruit and that your fruit should remain that whatsoever ye shall ask in the name of the Father in my name, Yahweh Bashim Shai, right? He may give it you. Yahweh be in the name of the Father. You asking Yahweh, which is the name of Abba Yahweh, in the name of Bashim. Yahweh Shai. Okay, that's what you're asking. Okay, you're asking in the name of Yahweh Shai. He may give it you. All right, and that's what you're asking for. But you you need to ask for yourself first. That you that you got it. That you didn't develop the relationship with him. That you are being an obedient servant unto him. Okay. And if everybody else is meant, they'll be meant. And if not, hey man, live with it. Rather than die with it. Okay? Look what it says in 18. If the world hate you, know that it hated me before it hated you. Okay? And so if people of the world don't like you, hey, guess what? It's because they hate the Lord. They hate the Heavenly Father. Before they ever didn't like you. Because as long as you was a nigga before, everybody was all cool and all. Matter of fact, I skipped that in, in Peter. Everybody was all cool and all, everything was all sweet until you turn to the Lord. When you turn to the Lord, now they got a problem with you. First Peter chapter four, I'll start at verse one. For as much then as Hamashiach, let me check the end of three right quick. Yeah, it's all about Yahweh Shai. It says, for as much as then Yahweh Shai has suffered for us in the flesh, arm yourself likewise with the same mind that you're going to suffer as well. For he that have suffered in the flesh have ceased from sin. You, 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 you're keeping things away from yourself. That he no longer should live the rest of his time in the flesh to the lust of men. And that's the cutoff that, 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 that usually sends the, the niggas around you. I hate to say it this way because there's all types of niggas, man. It ain't just black niggas, man. There's white niggas, there's Mexican niggas, there's women niggas, okay? Hispanic niggas, all different Asian niggas. There's all kinds of people that are just wicked and ignorant to, to the things that's going on. Okay, and they want to pull you back into those niggardly ways. Okay? Those ways of destruction. Okay, the Lord has no, no use for a nigger. He has use for a, a, a student, man. Okay, somebody that's, that's, that's obedient and wants to learn in the ways of Yahweh Shemiah Shai, that he may obtain salvation, as it says, I believe, in uh, Timothy's. The third chapter, I think, is first or second Timothy. That might be second. Anyway, it says that he no longer should live the rest of his time on this earth in the flesh to the lust of men, but to the will of the Most High. And that's the change that a lot of people can't deal with. It says, for the time past, our life may suffice us to have wrought the will of the Gentiles, that niggardly way that we was once in. Okay. We've had more than enough. It was more than sufficient the, 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 the way that we lived thus far till you came into this truth. When we walked in lasciviousness, lust, excess of wine, uh, revelings, banquetings, and abominable idolatries. You can go in the blue letter and get more understanding on, on that list if you need it. Okay? Just know that none of them are good for you. All right? Wherein they think it's strange is the people around you, your, your homeboys, your, your cousins, your family members, where they think it's strange that ye run not with them to the same excess of riot, speaking evil of you. Okay? That you ain't doing the same nigga shit that you used to do. It pisses them off, speaking evil of you. Because you've changed your way. Okay? When, the, when I first heard this, I think of one of the elders of Great Millstone, I, I first heard it, I was like, it, it blew me away on how much this made sense. And then it began to make sense 
in my life as the people around me, cousins and so on and so forth, was, was, was living that way. And they begin to shun me and, and not want to hang out. Oh, we smoking. I, it's just because you smoking the blunt. I don't smoke. We can still chop it up, though. They didn't even really want to chop it up with me no more. Like, all right, whatever. I don't want to hit your blunt, man. I'm good. I don't want to, you know, we can still have a beer together, though. Still chill. They didn't even want that. They, if you wasn't out there smoking, they didn't want to really hang out with you. That's my testimony on it. And there's been plenty of situations like that. Well, good. Oh, uh, they say, blessed when men separate company from you. Okay. It's good, man. And I, I may be mixing that one up a little bit, but you 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 get the point of it. Okay. All right. So um, uh, let's let's wrap this up. We got one more. Yeah. And it said um, in the last one I read before this. Let me go back. Quote again: You have not chosen me, but I have chosen you. All right. And so it said, before Jeremiah 1 and 5, before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. Before thou camest forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee, and I ordained thee a prophet unto the nations. This has been your life plan set up by the Most High from jump, man, when you were first conceived. All the way back, as far as you can understand, all the way back. Okay? This was your life plan. Walk in that life plan now that this is your life. And accept the things that come along with it. Okay, the good and the bad. And if you and if you suffer as the Lord has suffered, man, for, for righteousness sake, good shall come upon you in the end. And that's where your hope and your faith should be looked at in a positive way and should be built up from that point. Okay? Regardless of all the people that may want to come back and they want to hang out and chill, that's cool. You can spend that time with them. But if you if you feel that you may fall back into some of those old ways, man, that situation ain't for you. If you can't deny certain things, or you know, to say, um, find out what is evil to thy life and, and keep thyself from it. It's in the apocryphal, roughly, roughly paraphrasing that. You know, a man figures out what was evil to his life and, and don't give himself unto it. Hey, man, don't don't put yourself in those situations. If certain people can talk you in and out of things, hey, man, don't put yourself in that situation where you have to deal with that. Okay. It's a, it's an important step in this truth that this be. Uh, a focus and an understanding that you come into something that you're now settled on to. Okay, that this is what my life is. This is what it you know. This is what it takes. This is what I got to deal with. I always like to keep these videos pumping, man, because this is a serious thing. When shit hit the fan, you should be thinking back to, oh, I didn't put in some work for the Lord. I, I believe. Oh, this man believes. Let me let me get into his wise counsel. Whatever the case may be. That before this thing is over, man, that you may be found worthy in the eyes of Yahweh Bashim Yahshai, man. So that's that's always the end game of this thing, man. Right now, we're going to have to take the low. People ain't going to be happy. You know what's going on in your life. They're going to see you living low or whatever. When your life has changed, you may not be low that way. You may just be going through it in another way. But hey, whatever the case may be, the Lord put you there for a reason. And it's for you to, to, to be a living example of the power of the Lord, man, the glory of the Lord. Okay? So all these pitfalls are, are things to glory about as well, man. Okay? So Lord willing, this was that fine, giving all praises and glories unto Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, Shai, by Hashem, Rachach, Vodash. Double honor to our apostles and the elder bishops of the great millstone who teach God and rule well. And greetings, salutations, blessings, and much love unto you elect up there. Keep fighting, keep holding on, man. Keep being that example. Shalom.